G'day, welcome to Mount Cranberry Agriculture. Uh, it's Sunday the 30th of January 2022. Just going to move this hive from this location over onto that stand. It's a really short move, nothing complicated about it. And I'll just show you how to move a hive a small distance quite simply and quickly. So uh, first thing we'll do is just throw a bit of, bit of smoke in one. Keep them happy. Got my trusty trolley here. Moves a lot of beehives. Lift up the back. Get him on. around the front, move him up the back and just tighten that up. So first move I want to make is not too far. One of the little tricks I use is to just put something distinctive in front of the hive so the bees can home in on it. Um, ideally I'd put that there a day before just to get them used to it but um, just haven't got that time. So the first move is just going to be around a little bit here. Just so they can still still get the corner of the hive there and, and not miss it. Um, they're still gonna find it anyway, but it's just less stressful on the bees. I'm just gonna put that there. And that'll aid, aid with the move, so. Over the next day or two, we're just going to go from here, another step and another step, and onto the stand. So that's quite a simple move. Uh, it's important you don't move your bees too far too quickly because they'll disorientate and get lost. And the, not that it matter here, they just fly into other hives, it's not a big deal, but you don't want to significantly weaken this hive. Alright, so we'll just keep doing this over the next couple of days and see how it goes. So it's interesting just to watch these bees after this hive's been moved for about 10 minutes they're flying around to the side of the hive realizing that entrance has moved about a foot or so and and reorienting to the um to the front of the entrance there so that yellow entrance guard entrance reducer and white board uh, make a big difference in my opinion particularly if you want to move a hive along quickly just helps them to realise where the new entrance is. Welcome back again, uh, third day of our move, 2nd of February 2022. It's about 31 degrees and 80% humidity here, just west of Coffs Harbour. Uh, so it's a really hot day. Don't want to be out here in a bee seat for too long, although we are in the shade. Certainly too hot to work bees, but we'll just keep moving this hive. So next step today is to take another another step closer to that stand that we can go a little bit harder today. And I sort of want to get over the top of where 
where the bees are settling on the ground there so we don't squash any bees. So just a little bit of smoke in them. Push our white board up to here. See how the bees are all oriented to the to the front entrance now, they're not, not trying to get in around the side. That's quite a big move. Um, the bees will still head round to that side, but they'll see their little white marker there and, and get in round to the front of the hive. So next step tomorrow, we'll be up onto the stand. So you can just see here once again, um, 10 minutes after I've moved that hive, that the bees a little bit confused, flying round to the side of the hive, where they're expecting to find their entrance, just hovering around a little bit, and then going back down into the front entrance there. Righto, so we're on the last step of our little journey uh, from there to here. What I'm hoping to do today is just pick this up and put it on the on the stand. So, uh, with a bit of luck, I can just lever it up with the with the trolley and plop it on there with a little bit of jiggling. So, it's um, extremely humid here, and we're going to get rain today. So, I'm really reluctant to open this hive to um, to lift it up there. So, we'll see how we go. Um, the bees are still orienting nicely there to the front. Uh, we'll move our bit of a bit of a white board and just try and get this this hive up on this stand. So that went well. Um, so once again, um, we'll just put our white board out the front. That'll just help those bees reorient to the entrance. So you'll still get a few stragglers come around here. Um, they're not going to get lost and fly away. They're going to find this hive and, and go into it. So, so that's a good result. Um, that's the easiest way to move a hive a short distance. I really uh, would caution you against taking the advice of people on um, social media sites where they move hives, you know, 20, 30 metres away and shove a bit of uh, grass in the entrance and, and think that that's okay. I, I really don't think that's the humane way of moving beehives. Um, you're much better off moving this short distance day after day. I know it's tedious, but it works. The other method as well is to just take them away, load them up at night, take them away five or ten k's away and bring them back in a month or so in the new location. So, um, yeah, be wary of with these quick fix ways of, of moving beehives. I, I don't agree with them and I personally don't think they work very well. So, but there it is, moving a beehive a short distance. Um, let's hope we don't get a flood tonight, but um, it's definitely going to rain. So. All the bees are tucked down nice and tight and um, we'll see how we go.
don't forget, we're still open for beekeeping workshops up on my website, araravalleyhoney.com.au and drop me a note, leave me a message in the, in the um, comments below or give me a call on 0459 066 297 and we'll try and book you in. We'll probably go through till um, the end of May, weather permitting. And um, yeah, so great way to learn about bees. Come and spend a day with me. Thanks for watching.